Hey guys, this is Luke again, and welcome back to Remember This, my Ninjago Lost Media miniseries, the series that talks about obscure Ninjago media. Now, last week, um, I actually made a countdown of m breaking all five Chen mini movies, and that's what we're going to discuss today, is the Chen mini movies. As you all know, these were five really short mini movies, released sometime in 2015. Let me actually check the wiki. Okay. Um, I actually found them. They were released sometime between July 14th, 2015 and August 1st, 2015. And they were written by Yepe. I hope I pronounced this right. Yepe Sandholt. And the runtime of these, with all of them, all five of these, is two and a half minutes. So you could watch this in like a blink of an eye almost. And they comprise of Chen's New Chair, which was released on July 14th, Chair Play Chen, which was July 25th, Chair Up Chen, also July 25th, Chair For What You Wish for August 1st, and Bad Chair Day, and also on August 1st. And then, according to the trivia portion of the Ninjago Wiki, it is unknown whether the events are meant to occur before the Tournament of Elements or during the competition. If I were to venture a guess, I'd say it's before. I'd say it's before. That's just my personal guess, but we honestly don't know. And these are non-canon, so they they are non-canon in any way. So Now, let's discuss each short, like I did in my countdown. Chen's new chair was the first short, and the plot goes like this. After Chen unboxed his new throne... He admired it while Klaus suggests he reads the manual. He presses a button that opens a trap door underneath under the box. Klaus insists he reads the instructions before pushing any more buttons. Chen ignores this, claiming he doesn't need it and reading is boring. Is he wrong though? And pushes another button, setting Klaus on fire and burning the manual in the process. And according to the trivia, this is the first episode where Master Wu is not the narrator. So, yeah, a little piece of trivia for you. Next up is Chair Play Chen, um, which goes like this. Chen and Klaus play table tennis, but Chen loses several times. Enraged by this, Chen pushes a button that fires ping pong balls at him. He then serves another ball over the net and declares himself the winner. He stands on the table, says, WINNER! But the table folds in on him. And according to trivia, the title is name is a pun on the word fair play, and the logo on the table and ping pong paddles are of Will Film. So, yeah. Then the third short, Chair Up Chen, which goes like this. Chen sits on his throne while with Klaus next to him. Chen complains about being bored and pushes two buttons to reveal a mobile and bubbles. He pushes another to spin the chair, but it gets out of control. He stops it, but has a box and glove punch him and was slammed onto the floor. He accidentally presses another button and the throat sprouts bat wings. He then flew out a window and tells Klaus to help him down. And according to the Jaga Wiki, there is oh, the title's name is a pun on the word on the phrase cheer up. So next, cheerful what you wish for, which I already know what the pun is, careful what you wish for. Here's the plot of this one. Chen, thirsty from the heat, struggles to locate a button on his throne to bring him water. As a result, he accidentally burnt himself and tries to cool down. And he accidentally freezes himself in a block of ice as Klaus refuses to assist his master. Klaus, you jerk. And then the last short, Bad Chair Day. Similar to that of Bad Hair Day. Excited about his new front throne, Chen pressed a button, much to Klaus's annoyance. He tried to tell him to wait until he had properly read the manual, but was constantly interrupted by the chair's functions. After Chen accidentally teleported them to a jungle, Klaus has no choice but to carry them back home. Now, now we go into the final question of this video. Why is it part of this playlist? Why is it? do I consider it lost media? Well, it, I do consider it lost media, essentially, because not many people know that it actually does exist. And just because it 
just because it is found doesn't mean that it's not part of lost media. Lost media just can be really hard to find. Th stuff that was assumed to be lost, but it can later be found, as was the case with here. And like I, and I'll put another link in the description to, for the exact folder for in the Google Drive for the exact Chen mini movies if you want to see those. Um, but anyways, what are your thoughts on this? On these obscure indie movies. Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Like again. Hit the subscribe button. And click on the notification button. To see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye bye.